So, Maureen, could you tell us uh, what happened here this afternoon? Um, a tornado came through. We had been warned that one was in the Longford, Southern Clay County. And it was in Idana, which is just a catty corner here a few miles. Um, we were outside preparing things, putting vehicles away, and I could see it coming. Uh, most of us were home, and by the time my husband and oldest son got home, we took a picture or two, and I said, I can hear the roar. It's time. we got to go now. And we all went to the basement, and we could hear the roar. Um, things were sucking up. You could tell it was hitting us. Um, you knew it was bad. Um, and then they said, caution, there was another one come. So we stayed downstairs, and the sheriff was here with somebody who pulled in and rode out the tornado in his pickup. And they were banging at the door, wanting in to make sure we were okay. And uh -huh. the uh, nice big red barn is gone. It was here. The 4-H hogs were in there, and um, our horse was there. They're all alive. They're all scattered and loose. We got people coming to get them. Um, uh -huh. We had another shed here that housed the hay and um, small, like lawnmower and four-wheeler and things like that. And then our nice large machine shed is gone wow. as well as our shop that housed vehicles and the kids raised pumpkins and they had a pumpkin shack that we stored things in and fixed it up for their farm and it's gone but everybody was safe and we were all in the basement bathroom um, covering up because we knew it was coming to hit us wow. we knew it how long did this take i mean what, did this happen in quickly it yeah it was very quick because um, when i saw it i thought we still had plenty of times like get down there and wait it out and I bet it hit within a minute after we were in the basement wow. um, and it probably only lasted 15 20 seconds for sure and then we waited quite a while just to be safe that there wasn't more coming because uh -huh. um, on the we had a cordless radio and it said there's more bad weather and so we waited a while and then my husband heard banging and went upstairs and the sheriffs were making sure and we were okay. And this is what you saw, obviously. It took us a while to see it all. I mean, uh -huh. first I heard the windows. I could tell that the blinds were blowing. The house had been hit. Um, so we checked out glasses everywhere in the house. And then we looked out the back side okay. and realized there was nothing left. And then we started worrying about the animals, of course. Yeah. Um, but and the animals are all okay. They're all okay. I'm yeah. sure there's 20-some cats maybe not alive, but that's, oh, that's yeah. okay. The, you know, the 4-H um, animals are all okay, and our dog made it, and and we are okay. Yeah. We got hit by a hailstorm Monday and got hit oh severely, had two vehicles totaled, um, got hit real hard on the house. The adjuster was here two hours ago, or two hours before the tornado hit, wow. adjusting yeah. the roof and the uh, siding on the house were destroyed already from the hailstorm because they were softball size. Oh, my gosh. And that lasted for 20 minutes on Monday, huh. and hail an hour for sure but the softball size is 20 minutes so a lot of damage from that already wow. okay. um, thank you marie